Today, I'm going to be building Manticorp Island from Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 4. So I'm not going to be doing anything too major, I'm only going to be doing like the biomes, the desert biome, the jungle biome, the temperate biome, and the desert biome. Oh, and there's a snow biome, and there's a swamp. Okay, we're only going to do four, and they're going to be the four main ones. So first of all, we're going to start with the desert, the one where the Kentrosaurus and the Spinosaurus live, but I don't know why the, the Kentrosaurus would live in where the, where the Spinosaurus would live, it doesn't really make any sense. Obviously we'll make one Pierce variant, and I'm going to try and make a, a dirty looking Spinosaurus, because we know that the Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3 was almost as if it had like blue and red on its sail, but now it kind of has like a brown sail. So I'll try and um, mess with its uh, genetic code and see what we can end up with. So let's add some, maybe some fibrous ground cover. What that? Oh yes, that's perfect for the desert. And I'm and I'm not sure that there was any any water in the desert. No, there's there's not really there's no water in the desert, Blake. What are you talking about? You can also go ahead and mess with the terrain level because obviously it wasn't all even so we can add some bits where it's like you know higher than the rest let's bring let's bring like a little a nice little shape around here obviously this is just not obviously it's not going to look identical to manticore violin that i did in season four now we can flat okay no well, we didn't want to flatten it we kind of want we wanted to smooth it i didn't mean to flatten it then we can come down to here and uh that doesn't look too bad now let's add some rocks around let's add one on top of here then one over here because the biomes they're they're pretty big but they're also kind of small looking as well here we go actually let's miss the tr uh, let's let's raise it here let's bring it up a little bit here and then smooth there we go, that's basically just flattened it. Um, I think we need a little bit more... Actually, let's try something different. Let's try... Leafy climbers, what are they going to look like? Well, oh, that looks... That actually looks great. Alright, we could also... Oh, wait. There we go, the fence didn't finish building because I had it paused. Or it's just taking a very long time to build. Alright, we're just going to have to ignore the arrival point, but without the arrival point, I can't have a hatchery. Okay, let's modify this Spinosaurus's genome. Let's go for a... Oh, a great sandy desert. That's literally what that name is called. Anything else? Uh, let's just... Go oh, the blank pattern. So it's going to look, hopefully, a little like at least the one from Camp Cretaceous. So don't worry, I've put on fighting... I've put fighting off... And they can't starve or anything because there's not really you can't really survive in the desert. But um, let's just oh wait, there's only one Kentrosaurus. We can only do one. Okay, they're gonna take a little while to do. So let's start making another one. So we can now add a gate, and let's then do wait. We can do this, and then we can put oh hopefully a gate would fit there. I'll do one more out, and hopefully we can now add a gate here. Uh, where's the gate going to fit? Oh, the gate is not fitting. This is bad. Okay, let's release our Kendrosaurus for now. Out you come, Pierce. Let's, let's hurry you up a little bit. There we go. And Pierce is happily in the desert. Okay, so now we're building... The forest, like, where the two T-Rexes were, Big Edie and Little Edie. Now, these guys actually had water to drink from. So we can add, like, you know, a little river every now and again. There we go. That looks kind of cool. And to connect the, uh, the two enclosures, I'm just going to add two fences and kind of like a fence. And because that there is only a Big Edie pattern... We're going to have to only, we're going to have to release two big EDs instead of one and then two. Once again, let's try and mess it with the terrain and let's go, let's go down this time. We did, we went up in the desert, so let's go down here because I remember, ooh, 
for all of you who did actually watch Camp Cretaceous, there was a bit that went down and May said not to go down because there was a feeding platform. Look at that. That looks pretty good. And we'll surround it with forest because it was surrounded in forest like that. I know the ty the, the Tyrannosaurus can't eat, but um, it just, it's kind of like a little uh, nod to. Oh, great. Now it's snowing. Snowing in the desert. That, that, that's just, no. But good news is our Spinosaurus is ready. Look good at least. At least look half decent. Yeah, that's, that's close enough. That's fine. At least it doesn't look like the Jurassic Park 3 one. Yeah, that's actually almost close enough. So these two won't fight because I've turned fighting off, but um, the Kentrosaurus lived in the desert, but the Spinosaurus also did as well, and oh, he's, ro he's roaring at Pierce. Is Pierce dead? Or is he just laying down? Health 100. Okay, he's just lying down. He looked dead for a second. Quick question. Did anything actually live in the snow? Or am I just being dumb? No dinosaur lived in the snow, right? It was it was the Kentrosaurus when they were trying to get to the supply plane, but as they were going through, nothing was in there. So there's really no dinosaur to put in the snow. It's just we're going to add it for decoration. And unfortunately, I couldn't make this one the same size as the others because it's I just I hit the, I hit the boundary. Um that's very bright. <laughs> wow. That is very bright, and we can try and get rid of some of the snow that comes out of our outside the fences, because that's not what happened. We can quickly just remove that. I don't know whether to add another Kentrosaurus to the snow, and kind of make him like a white Kentrosaurus, but that just... There wasn't two Kentrosauruses, there was one that was Pierce, and Pierce is the only Kentrosaurus, so... I don't know, so maybe we can like open the fences and they'll, they can go into each other and can definitely tell that snow. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm about to be able to go ahead and build the swamp, but I also wanted to mess with the terrain just a little bit with the snow as well. You know, just like add a little bit of that. Then we can, uh, we can lower the terrain a little bit around the outsides. That's the T-Rex is done. That's great. We can also add a little bit of water, and we can pretend like it's like a frozen lake. Like the frozen lake, or... Yeah, you know what? That's gonna do for now. But our Tyrannosaurus Rexes are done, so let's release them. And, oops, sorry. And here they are. The T-Rexes. And there was two. Good. Because these took too long to make. I don't know why they took a long time to make. But there we are. Big Edie and Big Edie. You know what I mean. Big Edie and Little Edie running around in their little, like, I think it's like a jungle area in the desert, the snow. Now we're going to move on to the swamp. Now I know that this tree and this tree over here look very similar, though they are very different. I don't know what else to use for a swamp though. There's nothing really good to use for a swamp. Now swamps, they have a lot of water. So let's just add a lot and a lot of water. Even though I don't think we saw water in the de in the uh, the swamp in season four, but we're gonna add some of our own. Now, remember the season four cliffhanger? They um they came up on some kind of like feeding platform. This isn't a um. <laughs> don't worry. This isn't a um. Like a thing that the the guests are gonna walk around. This is the feeding platform that they came up for the season four cliffhanger. It can just be, um, it can just be a bunch of roads, so, um, that actually doesn't look that bad. That looks better than I thought it would. Now it's time to make some Dilophosauruses. Let's go all the way up to D. Where are they? They are here. There was... There was four, wasn't there? And they were the, they were the, the normal ones. So we can just go ahead and hopefully these don't take too long. But while I was doing that, let's have a look at this. You know, this is, okay, wait, they're already, they're not ready, but the batch is done. Oh, no, I did five. Uh, you know what, they're going to pretend that there was five, even though there are two new Dilophosauruses coming in season five. They're like a red scheme, but I didn't, you know what, we're going to forget about that. Let's mess with the terrain just a little bit more. We can come up the middle here. Flat, no, flat and smooth. We can raise up the terrain. Nothing hurting us doing that. You know what? Actually, no. I'll do a little bit more up the side here. We can raise the terrain. Then we can smooth it out. 
And um, I might, okay, I might add a little bit more forest here because it doesn't look too good. I'm just add some of that in. Just doesn't, this just, just so it doesn't look too plain. Just add them around the sides. And there we go. We have, actually let's go to Dalasaurus, released via aircraft. And we can take them over to here. Now, in an update for Jurassic World Evolution, there were stuff in the decorations. Is there... Okay, you know what? That and that are going to be the snowmobiles. I know they're cranes, but we're pretending. But I remember we had another feeding platform in the desert. Actually, you know what? We're not going to worry about feeding platforms. So we got... We have got the desert, here is the desert, we have the Spinosaurus, and we also have the Kentrosaurus that lived in the desert. It looks like a pretty good desert, you have to admit. Then we have the, um, what would you call this one? The jungle? I would call this one the jungle. You know, it's nice, there's two T-Rexes roaming around and, oh yes. They're <laughs> obviously they're not going to eat the food, but they're going down to the food. That is, that's, that's amazing. That is cool. We also have the um the snow that really didn't play a massive role in season four at all. There wasn't one Kentrosaurus in there, but that was Pierce. We also have the swamp biome, which has Dilophosaurus in there now. Awesome. What's up? Not much. Didn't think so. But here it is. This is the biomes of Manticorp Island. So we have the T-Rexes, Spinosaurus, Dilophosaurus, and probably one of the most useless biomes ever. But I hope you did enjoy that, and I hope you did enjoy me watching... Oh, actually, wait. I didn't build that, and then that. As I'm saying this, I hope you guys did enjoy me building the Manticore um, biomes from Season 4. I know Season 4 wasn't really one of the best seasons, but it was very fun to watch. And here we go. You know, the desert, the jungle, the swamp, and the snow all right here. I hope you all enjoy that video, and I'll see you all in the next one.